Hey, what's going on everybody? JP here with Wander to Get Lost and this is going to be a uh, DIY kind of RV mod video to create a um, RV sewer hose holder to go underneath our RV. What's going on everyone? My name is JP. This is my wife Jordana and our kids Aurelia and Odin. Back on our sixth wedding anniversary, we decided we wanted to buy an RV and see the country. Fast forward to March of 2021, we sold our house, ditched all our stuff, and hit the road for what we hope will be a journey filled with a lifetime of memories. We hope you will join us on this journey as we wander to get lost. So, um, with the installation of our solar, I'm gonna lose half of our main uh, compartment box and I'm trying to regain some storage in the area where we store our sewer uh, hose and connections. I put it in a tote box and then it goes into a cabinet. I want to get that cabinet back. So um, I went online and I was looking at a bunch of designs and they have um, sewer hose tubes that you can mount onto your RV. Uh, there was a couple of things that I didn't like about those. One, they're telescoping so the center point is weak and that could be addressed um, but the way they come is they have the mounting collars on the ends where the caps are so there's no way to move the uh, mounting areas or the collars further in on the tube to kind of like take in that weak point on the telescoping tube so that led me to think of the conduit holders that plumbers and electricians have on their vans so that's where i went so i ordered the four inch conduit carrier got a four inch pipe and it's actually over here. I glued it up and then I went to go stick the hose in to measure the length and guess what? It didn't fit because we have a four inch hose and our fittings are about five and a quarter uh, for the connection parts. So I need a six inch tube. So that's where we're at today. Six inch tube, it's quite large, <laughs> but it's not heavy. It's a schedule 40 core um, schedule 40 core uh, PVC pipe so it's the lighter one I got the 6 inch <coughs> um, uh, conduit carrier kit so that comes now with the front and then the holder so this I can position underneath the RV on the frame rails where I'll show you um, where we're going to mount it so I have that so the first thing first thing I'm going to do is be gluing on the end cap and then um, I got to measure the full width underneath the RV see how wide I can make this tube and then we're going to cut it and then glue on the cap and then drill some holes and mount it so first things let's get the end cap glued on I'm using some 3m 5200 and we're just going to seal that on uh, cut it to length seal on the front cap and then I'm probably gonna wait uh, about a couple hours just for it to cure and then uh, we'll go into the RV and mount it all right here we go so this part is pretty simple I'm just gonna put a bead inside this right here where where it's gonna meet up with the pipe That's it. All right, I'm gonna go measure the RV and then we'll cut this thing. <laughs> All right, so I don't have a saw that's gonna cut this. It's a six inch pipe and I don't, I don't think the chop saw I have will be able to cut this. Uh, so I'm either gonna use my circular saw and just cut it in sections uh, but I may try the chop saw. We'll see.
All right, here's the uh, front cap. Like that, so when I do mount it, I'm gonna have it so this cap uh, hangs down. And we could also lock it so nobody steals it. So I'm just gonna do the same thing, put a bead around it. And, uh, gonna let that cure for a little bit and I'll uh, see you back here to mount it all right uh, we're under the RV so as you can see this is the four inch one how I mounted it just drilled it right through um, so I'm gonna keep this one actually pretty tight here because I have a bolt on the other frame that is a negative or a ground mount so I don't want to screw with that um... Good. Alright, so... Um... I'm gonna not show the next part just because I'm just gonna grind down some of this rust off of here and then paint it up. But uh, I'll be back after that to show you uh, it mounted and done. So we're going to mount this now. Uh, one thing that doesn't come in the kit are washers, but uh, I'm going to be putting a washer on top of the frame rail. Yeah, so it does have a lock nut, uh, lock washer. Then you got your nut. So basically, this is gonna go like this. Curve sides like that for the pipe. We're gonna push that up into. Oops. Push that up into the two holes, drop these on. I'm gonna get it just a little snug and then I'll get the other one mounted, position this correctly, and then um, uh, we'll tighten it down. So, one little issue I had is right here is you can see where this the uh, cross member brace meets up. Um, but it was all I had to. I probably could have moved down a little bit. I was just worried about this grounding bolt that's right here. I got that same issue here, but it should be all right. I'm thinking I might have to pull that washer out and just use the uh, the lock nut in or the lock washer and the nut. So I'm gonna crank this down and then I'll show you how it looks. All right, everything is in. So here we go. I definitely think these 
way too long. Look at this was the four inch kit pipe and uh, the uh, bolts were much shorter. So I could always cut these down later. I'm looking. You're looking? I'm what do you looking. think? <laughs> There's the other side. So let's go to that side. We'll see how it looks and then uh, we'll put the hose in see if it all fits in here. Better. <laughs> yeah, it's better. All right. All right, so here's the front of it. There we go. Ooh, peek inside. Yeah. Can I take a peek inside? Yeah, go ahead. What do you think? Whoa! <laughs> my echo bounces right back into my mouth. I do have that clear fitting on the other end. There we go. And then this closes. So. And then with this locked, nobody can access this because this won't be able to open. So, yeah. Not too bad. Alright, we got a new uh, poop hose holder. <laughs> Uh, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up and don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow along on our RV adventures and um, this is one of the last projects in our renovation. Uh, thank you to all our new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. We really appreciate it. To all our loyal subscribers, thank you so much for sticking around and watching our videos. And if you want to support us, we have some shirts at wandertogetlost.com in our merchandise shop. We got a bunch of designs and if you make a purchase we get a few bucks and it helps uh, support us in our travels and everything. All right, so that's it for making a DIY uh, RV sewer hose holder. And depending on the size of your RV uh, sewer hose, you might be able to go smaller than the uh, PVC pipe I had to. But all right, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.